The state of the global economy is usually examined by looking at GDP. We've taken a different approach. We built a balance sheet of the global economy as a way of measuring its health and vitality. Balance sheets compare assets on one side and liabilities on the other, or what you have and what you owe. Companies, financial institutions, governments, and some households use them to see how solid their finances are, so as to make decisions about how to deploy their capital. In the same way, the global balance sheet can be used to measure wealth, capital allocation, and financial resilience. The global economy's balance sheet has grown a lot in the past 20 years, although with variations by country. The world's assets added up to $1,540 trillion in 2020, or 18.1 times GDP. That's up from 15.9 times GDP in 2018 and 13.2 times in 2000. Two-thirds of those assets are financial ones, things like stocks and bonds and currencies and deposits. Pulled together across all four sectors that make up a national balance sheet, households, governments, corporations, and financial institutions, financial assets and financial liabilities sum up to zero. So what's left as net worth are real assets like real estate, machinery, minerals, and intangibles. Real assets stood at $520 trillion in 2020. Real estate accounts for two-thirds of the overall value of real assets, or net worth, while things like machines, inventories, and industrial structures, the real assets that drive economies, only make up about 30%. Net worth and GDP historically moved in lockstep with some exceptions. But over the past 20 years, global net worth has outpaced global GDP growth. Roughly 30% of the big increase in net worth reflects investment in the kinds of assets that drive economic growth. And the rest of the rise is a result of higher valuations, especially for real estate. Has a paradigm shift occurred, establishing higher asset prices permanently? Or are there new 21st century stores of value that allow capital to be deployed more productively? The global economy's future and the prosperity of all may ride on the answers.